we're at Evergreen Cabins once again today. So far, we explored their spa cabin that has their own personal masseuse for you every single morning. Then we explored their other cabin that has an 80-foot suspension bridge and a 50-foot waterfall in the backyard. And now we're at their A-frame cabin, which has the perfect bed to sleep under the stars in. A one-of-a-kind rollout bedroom. We are located in Remsen, New York on the outskirts of the Adirondack Mountains. I hope I'm saying that right, but it is such a beautiful area here. And this A-frame cabin can sleep up to four guests. There's two levels to this A-frame and definitely an abundance of windows to get some great views. Once you get here, you'll walk around to the back of this A-frame, which is actually where you'll walk in at. This cabin fits in with the surroundings perfectly because of this rustic design and having these giant tree trunk pillars that hold up this platform at the top. You may think this is an outdoor patio, but it's way more than that, but we'll get to that later in this video. Out here on the deck though, there's a grill and an outdoor shower for the summer months and even more around it, such as this picnic table and a fire pit over here on this side. If we walk around to the front of this A-frame, there's another deck out here, and in the summer there's chairs and such out here to enjoy, but they're put away right now for the winter. The front design is beautiful with all these huge windows and the lights that string across this edge. Sadly, I couldn't use much of these outdoor amenities because, as you can see, there's snow everywhere, which is beautiful, but that just means we have to spend most of our time inside, which isn't a problem. So speaking of that, let's go inside and check out what this A-frame has to offer. A-frames are very tricky with space and design, so let's see how this one tackled the issue. When you walk in, you're under your loft space and immediately in your kitchen. The kitchen spans across this entire left side, starting with the refrigerator and ending with your oven and range. In between, there's plenty of cabinet space, your coffee supplies, and of course, your sink. The backsplash goes all the way across as well, and it's the stone rock. It fits very well with overall rustic interior. Above, there's even a nice map that lets you pin where you're from, and you can also see where all the other guests are from as well, so it's pretty neat, I think. On the other side, there's two doors, which I love the look of. The first door is a storage room, and the second is your bathroom. In here, the rustic design continues, and there's just enough space in here for everything you would need. The toilet in the middle, your vanity is here on the right side, and you have the tiled walk-in shower on the left with that same cozy stone tiling all up against this wall. You even have a seat in here. <laughs> Continuing along, we reach the open area of this A-frame. This is the dining and living space. Savannah and I really enjoyed the space because the ceiling opens up and you have amazing views from the windows all around. The left side is the dining space, which is in this bump out. The windows here go all the way up to the ceiling and having this bump out really helps out with the space in this A-frame. There's a bench seat across this wall and a huge wooden table right in the middle to either play games at, eat, or play the steel drum that they leave. I'm not very good, clearly. The antler chandelier above this really ties it all in with this cozy rustic design. The living room has this couch that also pulls out into a bed, a huge coffee table, and additional decor to really fill in the space in front of these windows. There's also two sliding doors here that let you lead out into that deck we were at earlier. We all sat in here and enjoyed ourselves while watching some Bob Ross on this pullout TV and having this fireplace on to end our night. I mean, how could it get any better than that? We even played a couple tunes on the banjo. Well, we tried. Never played one before. <laughs> now for the best part of this cabin, that just puts the cherry on top. Once you walk up these spiral stairs, you reach the loft space. In here is the main bed, and there's even a smaller loft above it for an additional sleep area if needed. Definitely for smaller kids. It looks like there's some mats out here you can roll out, and you can all sleep up here in this loft. But anyway, the main bed underneath this slides out and you are able to sleep under the stars. At just a push of a button, it automatically slides out and you can now spend your time in the fresh air 
and Cool Night. I've never seen a feature like this before. I've seen beds that have rollers on them and you can move them around, but nothing on the second level and nothing that is automatic like this. Even if you don't like A-frames, I suggest this one to try this feature out because it's just so cool. Also, once you get out here, there's a drop-down TV as well, so it's just even cozier but you can also use the TV whenever you're inside. It's just mounted up on the ceiling. It's genius, so you don't have to lift your head up or anything trying to watch TV and just lay there and watch it right on the ceiling. I love it. But once you're done, or if it's too cold, like for me, you can slide right back in and a push of a button and you're all sealed in. This is luxury, people. Savannah's mind was blown and Weston's mind, he didn't. He wasn't too fond of it, but overall, I loved it so much. So if you're ever coming in in the winter like I did, there are plenty of things to do outside. We are really close to some snowmobile trails. It snows a lot here in the upstate New York region, so that is something really fun to do. And literally right across the road, I can see it from here, there is a huge lake. And I'm sure it freezes over pretty often, or even during the summer you can really enjoy it as well. So there's lots of things to do around the area. Hiking, of course, we're in the mountain region of the upstate New York, so there's all of that. But if you really want to use this rollout bed, uh, I would suggest coming in the summer. And if you want to book this place, the link is down in the description. There are some summer dates left still available, so I would suggest booking it for then. And coming out, coming out here and enjoying the warm weather and that pull-out bed to sleep under the stars because that is so freaking Cool. Also, in every single video, I get comments of where people can get the plants for the place because they want to build it themselves or something of that nature. This place, along with the other cabin with the suspension bridge, they have plans for sale that you can buy and you could build this exact same thing. So. There's a website down below linked as well, and you can get the plans there. And yeah, I know that's one of my most popular questions everywhere I stay, so it's cool that they sell the plans. Go check those out as well. Anyway, uh, I will see you guys in next week's video, and thank you for watching this one.